These are the revised results of the 2024 state test scores known as MCAP, just posted to the Maryland State Department of Education's website. Project Baltimore analyzed the numbers, and what we found is alarming. When students take the MCAP test, their scores place them in one of four levels. Level one is the lowest level, considered beginning learners. Level two is developing. Level three is proficient, and level four is distinguished. Statewide, more than 475,000 students took the state math test last year. Overall, 24% scored proficient, a slight improvement from the previous year. But look at this. More than 31% of students scored in level one, meaning there were more students who scored at the lowest level than those who scored proficient. Meanwhile, just 2% of students scored in level four. Think about that. Throughout Maryland, around 150,000 students last year scored in the lowest level for math, and about 9,000 scored in the highest level. Also in the data, we can see 27 schools statewide had zero students among those tested who scored proficient in math. Most of those schools are alternative schools or for students with disabilities. However, eight schools that would be considered traditional schools had zero students test proficient in math. And all eight are in Baltimore City. This school level data was just recently made available following a year long Fox 45 News investigation. Baltimore City is facing a devastating reality. As in February 2023, Project Baltimore broke the news that 23 Baltimore City schools had zero students test proficient in math. After that story aired, the state changed the way it reports test scores to the public by replacing many results with asterisks for the state's lowest performing schools. At the time, the state claimed the move was necessary to protect student privacy. But that decision, which kept parents and taxpayers from seeing how poorly many schools were performing, sparked criticism from the community. Mr. Chaudhry. Uh, Chris Paps with Fox 45. When we tried to question then State Superintendent of Schools, Mohamed Chaudhary, about it, he locked himself behind a door. I want to thank Fox 45 for asking the question. When Dr. Kerry Wright took over as the new State Superintendent, Project Baltimore asked if she would reverse Chaudhary's decision. The change was officially made, and the revised test score results were released earlier this month. If you would like to see exactly how your neighborhood school is performing, we have posted all the data on our website, foxbaltimore.com. Just click on this story. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.